Okay, H2C2O4 uh, for the redox goes to CO2. So you're mashing likes and likes. The other two manganese have to go together. So the first step of the four is balance anything that's not hydrogen or oxygen. So we'll put a two here so there's two carbons on either side. Next, we balance the oxygens. There is, looks like four oxygens on each side right now. So oxygens seem okay. Uh, so third is hydrogens. We have two hydrogens on the left side, so we better put two H plus on the right side. And then there's no charge on the left, so step four is to add electrons. We'll add it over here so that overall charge on both sides is zero. Is that okay so far? Yeah. Okay. Next part, manganese four oxide goes to manganese two ion. First step is to balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. Well, manganese is balanced already. Next is oxygen. There's two here, so I balance those two with two lines. Now, the next step, third step, is with H. There's four waters here, so I'm going to put four H plus there. And then next, uh, let's see, is the charge. It's plus two here, plus four here, so let's put two electrons. Balance it out. So far, so good? Okay, add it up. We're really lucky because there's two electrons here and two electrons here. So I was feeling extra nice, I guess, that quarter. And so, just add up with no multiplication. Oxalic acid plus 4H plus plus manganese 4 oxide goes to 2CO2 two plus manganese 2 ion plus 2H plus plus 2H2O. Okay, if I copied it down right, there we go. And then I just want to look if there's any simplification that I can do. So the H plus, do you see I can cancel this out and just have two left over? So uh, you would just rewrite it, erasing this, and putting the number two right here. Is that okay? Yeah. And then if I ask for state symbols, you better put them. So anything that's charged will be aqueous, water will be a liquid, and then these, whatever it said initially in the question. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, so on the exam, I think that we, we don't include uh, solid, no, like weak uh, bases and weak salt, uh, weak bases and weak acids. So how do we, uh, are we, do we need to know how to differentiate between them to just look at, an, uh, look at a compound and know whether it's a weak base or weak uh, acid or strong base? Okay, I'll answer that in a second. Is there anything else left up here? Well, I'll come to that. Yeah. Can you solve it in acidic conditions? This is basic. acidic. Oh, I mean basic. Basic? Okay. I'll do it in basic, then I'll answer your question. Uh, it, so this is not the original question that you're asking, but if we wanted to do it in basic conditions, we'd look at our H+, plus. there's two of them. So we'd add the equal number of OH- minus to both <laughs> sides. 2OH minus to equal the 2H plus. These will end up being two waters, not four. Okay, so we have two waters there. So now oxalic acid uh, plus two waters plus MnO2, the manganese four oxide, goes to 2CO2 plus manganese two ion plus 2OH minus plus two water. Then after you do that, you want to see if there's any simplification possible. The waters, yeah. So it actually looks like there's two waters on each side. I will just erase them because I have no more space. Okay? So get your eraser out, erase that out of there. And then you're done. Is that good? Yeah. On this? Yeah. yeah. Um, how, how do you know to put two electrons right there? How did I, on this part? Yeah. There's two electrons here because this has a charge of zero. Before I wrote this, it was plus two. So I have a minus two. And notice these are almost always on the same side. Okay? Okay.